Judge granted a directed verdict because um, um, evidently at trial, um, a couple of elements were not met, um, one of which was IDing the person. Um, and it is a rarity. Uh, it, it's in my years of, um, of practice in over 21 years, um, on the, when I was a defense lawyer, you know, it happened, uh, I was able to raise that motion, you know, a few times and have things granted. But uh, it is a rare occurrence. Um, to that end, what we've, you know, what we're doing in our office is just going back to, uh, I call it just really back to the basics. And uh, we're just going back in, in training, training, training. We're working in training. And uh, what that means is almost like if, if you, it's akin to a training camp, whether it be baseball or football or any sport, just going back and just going through some of the fundamental pieces before you uh, talk about the, the, uh, the, the more intricate pieces. And so just ensuring that we're, you know, uh, tight on the rules of evidence, uh, ensuring that we are just uh, following that checklist properly and doing all of the things we need to do. In order. Bringing in experts and just you know, other seasoned lawyers and some of the lawyers in our office will even be uh, doing some of, the, some of the lecturing and some of the teaching. But, but going through and, 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 and talking about how we do things and making sure that they're done properly each time. Um, again, it's a rarity. It's something that doesn't happen often. Um, just, you know, as this happened in, in this one occurrence, um, you know, I can tell you about probably 10 or 12 other cases, uh, Im you know, immediately uh, that, that we've had success with. Um, in my short time here, we've had three murder cases that have gone to verdict with guilty, um, guilty sentences, uh, or the verdict has come back as guilty. And um, one of which is a life sentence, another received uh, 60 years, and a third is awaiting sentencing. We have multiple criminal sexual conduct cases that we've had guilty verdicts on. Um, some have been guilty pleas as well. Uh, even last week, there is a uh, guilty verdict in uh, Kershaw County, which is part of the Fifth Circuit. Um, and so, um, again, this is an outlier. <clears throat> and with the training that we're putting in place uh, and, and just reiterating just the essential things that always have to be done, uh, we don't expect for this to happen.